I think there's a packet between each individual frame in this thing. Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and I was just out moving around in town trying to find some stuff that I needed for life, and I found this. There's a store that had a sale going on for uh, these things, their canvases. And since I've been meaning to do a show about this anyway, since for some reason I think I can paint now, I do so many things. <laughs> help me. Help me. God, help me. I figured you guys and I could go over making a painting on this side of the canvas. Not this side. It's a common mistake to paint there. So before we get started, there's a few things we're probably gonna have to do to this. Number one is take it out of the package. Not many people get that. Taking it out. For some reason, it's pine scented. Ah, it's made with pine wood. Eh, the whole box of them is covered in plastic and every single frame is also covered in plastic. Well, I can't fault them for being thorough, except it's not every single frame, it's every other frame is covered in plastic. All right, that's not bad, actually. We're still gonna have to tighten the canvas, but that's not bad. So there's two things we're gonna do to this canvas. Number one is we're gonna tighten up the canvas so it's uh, not as, you know, pliable and kind of thumbable. You can let me see how much that's deforming as I press into it. We're gonna change that, and then we're gonna gesso it. Gesso is kind of like a pre-paint compound. It just helps the paint adhere to the canvas better. So here we go. So there's a few different ways that you can go about stretching out a canvas. Um, the way that I like to do is I like to flip it over like this and get a rag and then just soak the rag in water and then kind of wash the inside of the canvas. I'm gonna go get some water, walk around all this shit. God damn it. Okay. There's so much shit in the way here. What you wanna do is you wanna get your cloth and you wanna just run it across the paper. Just you know, squeeze and run it across the paper here. Now, the water you kind of want hot, not scalding hot, but definitely a little warm. We'll just keep, kind of make sure that it's evenly distributed. You don't want to just stretch out one part of the thing and, you know, end up with a lopsided picture. Now the reason we want to stretch the canvas, and yeah, you can sometimes use, you know, both hands if you're running out. The reason you want to stretch the canvas is if your canvas is too pliable, as you add paint to it, you can actually get some sagging. And you don't want to have that happen. That can ruin the whole image. All right. I think that's pretty good. And as you can see, you can kind of hear it. Canvas is already tightening up real nice. So, there's a couple of things we can do now. We can let it just kind of air dry. Let me get some areas here. We can let it kind of air dry, or we can get a hair dryer and just lightly go over the canvas with the hair dryer, and that'll, that'll dry it out a little faster. With me, I'm gonna let it air dry because I have no time limit. All right, so we've given it some time to uh, dry and it's pretty dry. I did spot three very small holes, but I'm confident the gesso should be able to cover those. Anyway, now it's time to apply the gesso. It's, ah, fuck, damn it. There. Now it's time to apply the gesso. So we're gonna wanna apply it very evenly. You don't want any single, like, big, long strokes that'll create a uh, pattern in the canvas. You kinda want it chaotic and random, and that way the 
Is the mic good? That way you shouldn't come up with any unintentional pattern overlays in your finished product. So, what I, what I usually do is I usually just create a glob and go about just random kind of messy movements, evenly apply it, just go about that. Um, you know, flick molten, you know, wet gesso everywhere. If you can, get it on your television. Get the shit that hardens like cement uh, onto delicate electronics, your laptop, any kind of, you know, figure you use for pose practice, anything really. It's good to slather this stuff all over the room. I, I, I feel it, it brings the whole house together in a sticky congealed horror. i put another one down here and just slather it around. Go in kind of a, an infinity symbol. But remember, you don't want any single long stroke. Like, you don't want to do that. See, now I have to correct it. See, I have to correct it because I had to make that mistake because I love all of you. By the way, if you have carpal tunnel, this is like a living nightmare. You want a good, even coating. And we're good. Well, there we go. We've successfully taken the canvas that looked like this and turned it into something that looks like this. We've stretched the canvas and we've gessoed it. Don't worry, we've gotten through the second most boring part of painting. Next episode, we'll start putting an actual image on this canvas. Cool! And remember all you budding artists out there, I've had no formal training and probably don't know what I'm talking about. And as always, have a good day.